What's up guys, Brian here down in the Gecko Lab. Today I want to tell you a quick story. So recently I got an email from a gecko keeper, somebody that had one crested gecko as a pet and they reached out to me and their email said, hey, I have this gecko, I got him when he was fairly young and he's growing really, really slow. I don't understand why. Can you please help me? Why is my gecko growing so slow? So today I thought I would show you one of the possible answers. There's a lot of reasons a gecko could be having a slow growth rate, but today we're gonna go through one possible reason to give you guys a tip on how you might be able to solve this problem if it's happening to you. Now, as you can see, I've got some food here. I've got a big bucket of the rapashi, grubs and fruit, great food. I like this, I feed it a lot. We're gonna make two cups of food. So let's unscrew this. You can see here, I've got, this is a half teaspoon measuring cup, measuring scoop. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna make two things of food. Now the first one is gonna have about two scoops of food. Two scoops of food and we're gonna put three scoops of water in there. Now when we stir that up, you'll be able to see the consistency. Okay, so we've got that one set. Now, let's make the other one. And in the second cup, I'm gonna do the same amount of total ingredients, just in a different proportion. So we did five scoops total on the last one. This one, we're gonna do five scoops again, but we're gonna do one scoop of food and about four scoops of water. Now, if we mix this one up, you'll be able to see that both cups contain about the same amount of liquid in each cup. Now, here's the key. This one here is too liquidy. This is too liquidy for your gecko to eat. Look at how liquidy this is. Whereas compared to this one is like a thick paste, almost like a real good ketchup or a smoothie is always how I describe it. Now, if you can imagine, if your gecko fills their stomach with this thinner, real watery-like paste versus a thicker paste like this one, which one are they getting more food out of, more calories, more nutrients? Obviously, this one. Now, the idea here being, if your food is too watery, your gecko can fill its stomach to, to where it can't eat anymore and it's getting less calories, less nutrition. They can actually fill their stomach with a really, really watery food, even waterier than this. They can fill their stomach and still be nutrient deficient. They cannot get enough to eat. Whereas a thicker food, they can eat this until they're full. They probably won't even fill their stomach because that's all they need. They're getting all the nutrients. They're getting more nutrients, more calories, more nutrient dense food into their stomachs and that helps their growth rates. This is something I see quite a bit with people who don't know why their geckos aren't growing well. This could be one reason. If you're mixing your food too watery, your geckos aren't gonna grow. They're not getting the nutrients, the calories, the density of food and vitamins and everything they need to grow and be happy and healthy. So next time you're making your food, even if you don't notice any growth rate issues with your geckos or you've got full grown geckos, whatever it is, it never hurts to stop next time you're making food and just take a fresh look at it. It's really easy to get in a routine and do the same thing every night and then you don't notice after a while you're making your food more and more watery. Just take a, take a second, pour some of your food out, have a look at it and say, hey, what's the consistency here? Am I doing a good job? Is it watery enough? It does not hurt to compare your food and see how it's looking. Now, ideally, I made these a little bit extreme to show it on camera. If I mixed half of this with the thicker food, that right there, that's about the consistency you want. It's thin enough that it flows, but it's thick enough that it's real, like I said, like a smoothie, like if you went and got a real good milkshake, that's the consistency you want out of it. So, next time you're feeding, have a look at your food, Make sure you're mixing it up right. If you're noticing problems with growth rates with your geckos, that could be one possible solution for you. I'm gonna leave it right there for today, guys. Thank you so much. As always, I'm Brian, altitudeexotics.com slash 
AE Geckos on Facebook and Instagram. Any questions about geckos, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try and get back to as many people as I can. Thank you all so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you.